What's up guys? So today I'm going to be figuring out why my uh, rear view camera has not been working since I converted my car to a manual. Um, so essentially before, I think I showed you guys in a previous video, um, but my wiring for the rear view camera essentially, um, there's one RCA connection that would come over here, it plug into the head unit over here, and then the positive wire next to it would plug into the positive wire um, at the head unit. However, since converting that didn't work, so I talked to the guys at Avon um, if there's any difference between the wiring for the... Um, uh, Android any it with the manual transmission they said there was so in fact what you have to do is you know further back in the wiring harness for the uh, um, Further back in the wiring harness for the review camera. I'll show you guys right now um, There's actually a second sort of positive negative which are optional um, I ignored them before because the head unit had the positive uh, terminal built in um, but I guess the idea was that these go to your um, uh, the positive and negative of your reverse uh, actual bulb and then that would supply the power. So basically when the power would be received by the reverse light, it would trigger the wire up here with your positive connection attached to the uh, pink trigger wire over there. Basically you would tell the car that, okay, um, it's time to reverse. That's what we're doing right now. Um, and the camera would activate. So with the manual, I guess it's a bit different in the sense that there's no like, I guess, talking, there's no TCU, so the car can't necessarily directly tell um, what's going on exactly. I'm not sure that's how I was working before, but at least now I know um, that in order to get this camera to work, um, there needs to be some sort of trigger and some sort of better power or proper power um, input. So what I did to test it out is I hooked up a 9-volt battery just to those, um, to these leads over here. So that's essentially saying the car is in reverse right now. Um, it'd be the same thing if they were just saying that. So um, the camera should be on permanently if I turn the car on, which when I do, you'll see that it does. So right now the car thinks it's in reverse. It's getting that signal from the trigger wire. Um, so essentially what's happening is that the 9-volt battery is supplying the power um, to those wires. The power then activates this trigger wire over here, and the trigger says, okay, now I can display what I'm receiving through the RCA cable at the rear view camera. Um, as you can see, this pointing up, so <laughs> it's just facing the top of my house. Um, but uh, yeah, so now I gotta figure out how I need to connect those wires back there to the actual reverse bulb instead of um, instead of that 9-volt battery. Also, in order for this to work, you need to change the mode from aftermarket camera to 360 camera. Um, really weird how that's kind of set up, but uh, that's how the guys at Avon kind of told me how to do it, and it seems to work just fine that way. So, if you have a manual transmission car, um, you have to connect to um, the reverse tail lights in order to be the trigger wire, for it to trigger the power, I mean, and you have to change that to 360. So, kind of annoying. Um, now, if you're saying it for the first time, it's not the most clear thing in the world to do that. So, hopefully this video helps you guys out. Um, I need to figure out how to actually connect it to the rear, uh, to the reverse light over there, so I will show you guys that. Ignore the mess of the car right now. I was trying to find that positive negative wire. I was looking over the entire like, you know, car where I, how I wired it and I was trying to find it. But of course it was right back there. So I didn't even need to do all that. So um, ignore that, but I'm gonna show you guys um, which terminal and how I'm gonna connect up the um, wires to the reverse tail light without creating a code, hopefully. Um, that is my goal. All right, guys, check it out. I'm in reverse right now and the camera's on. But if I got a reverse and a neutral, camera goes away. Just what I wanted. So I've come across this issue where it looks fine, right? Like the camera's working totally fine, but then when I start the car, give it a second. It's getting kind of weird slowly. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but eventually, here you can see it now, it's gonna cut out completely. Weird, isn't it? So then if I restart that entire process, key out all that good stuff back in neutral we have camera again so there's some power related issue um, I did read about this one time um, in the comments of this camera when I first bought it so I think I need to buy a separate like some sort of thing to clean up that signal um, all right, guys, so essentially the problem is, I did some research last night, but the problem is that the power to the reverse lights drops from about 12 volts to 9 volts the moment you start the car, uh, which explains why I lost that uh, signal whenever the car was on. Um, so the solution to this is getting a relay, um, so you basically get power directly from the 12 volts of the battery, so um, you can either tie it to a fuse box, 
and use a fuse there, and the fuse basically protects the battery from, you know, whatever feedback you may be getting. Um, but unfortunately, the fuse box is pretty far up in the U92, U90 chassis, it's kind of in the glove box, and I really, really did not want to run a wire um, all the way down the car again. So what instead I've done, after watching some videos online and uh, seeing U90 specific stuff, we can actually wire um, our uh, power wire directly to the battery. Um, and we can do this with a fuse, and in inline fuse holder over here. So essentially this little wire has a fuse kind of carrier in there. Uh, I'm not sure if I need a seven and a half amp fuse or a five amp, so we're gonna see you know, which one should be fine. I think both should be enough. I've seen people use three amps and have totally enough um, juice to run their camera. Um, I believe even if, even if you use a higher uh, amperage fuse, it's not gonna be a huge deal, um, but you usually wanna have a fuse that's kind of close to what uh, you'll be working with. Um, and I believe five and seven and a half amps should be more than enough. So those should be fine. I kind of just bought both to test them out. So it's kind of confusing because it says ATM fuse here, which is a small fuse, but then at the back it said like ATC as well. So I just bought one of each size. Um, seven and a half is ATM, five was ATC. I think they should both fit actually, but um, Regardless, um, so essentially what we have here is a relay. So how a relay works is that it draws the power from the battery itself, um, but it's gonna use the reverse lights um, as a switch to turn on that power from the main battery. So it's kind of like using a smaller circuit um, to turn on or to be a switch for a larger circuit. So the smaller circuit being um, the reverse light um, camera setup, which has, I mean, the reverse bulb, which is a nine volt thing. Uh, nine volt setup, and then the bigger one being the reverse camera, which is going to be a full 12 volt. Um, and initially, by doing this, initially by doing this, is we should have a cleaner power source, uh, which means should be uh, less wavy lines and all that stuff on the camera itself. If we do have some wavy lines, I do have a noise um, sort of uh, like a noise reducer for um, currents on uh, electrical lines that we can use as well. Um, but hopefully, we won't have to use that. Um, should be pretty easy to set up. So essentially. Um, I'll go over the wiring later. I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but I have seen plenty of people do it in this exact way. Um, so I believe on the relay itself there are four ports. So one will go to the battery, uh, one will go to the camera, one's a ground, and I'm and one's a reverse bulb, that's what it is. Um, and instead of wiring the wires directly to the bulb like I did, that is kind of messy, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a tap to uh, one of the wires instead um, from the harness. So it's actually a lot of kind of uh, cleaner installed and you know better done. I also bought some more taps just to you know make sure. Um, but I don't even know if it's the correct size for the battery terminal. Uh, I kind of bought this because it looked right. But <laughs> if not, we'll find another way to attach our wire to the positive end of the battery. So it does appear that only a uh, the ATM size fuse can fit in this little carrier, which happens to be the seven and a half I have over here. Um, so if you go to AutoZone, like I did, and just pick up some parts. The only one that had it was an ATM, so make sure you get the corresponding fuse that'll fit in this um, kind of inline fuse holder. Um, the ATC fuse will not fit. Um, I'm probably just gonna keep those anyways because why not have a couple of fuses laying around? Uh, but yeah, keep that in mind. All right, guys, before I do all the wiring, I wanna show you guys which one was actually the reverse wire. So on the pre-LCI cars, uh, I was doing some research online. It said that the black wire with the blue sort of stripe on it will be um, your reverse wire. Now, of course, look at the connector. There were two reverse wires, two black with blue uh, stripes on them. So, the only way for me to figure this out, I tried using this tool as well over here, which you may have um, seen other videos and stuff, people testing out which one is actually reversed, but I'm probably just not using it right or something, but for me it ended up being the easier method was just to remove each pin from the connector and see which one stopped the reverse light from working, and it was this one right here. So, this uh, black wire with the blue stripe is in the middle of the connector. Um, as you can see, there's one on the very end over here. This is not the one we're gonna be using. It's gonna be this one over here in the middle of the connector. It's in, uh, let's see, pin three. So pin three is what we'll be tapping into. Um, so I'm gonna put this connector back in place. You guys don't need to do this um, if you have the same kind of wiring setup as I do. Um, if not, you can follow the same method. If, you, if you're if you pretty comfortable with wires, just remove from the connector and then um, see which one uh, disables your reverse light and have to be this one for me. So I'm gonna put that back now and we can tap into this reverse wire um, for our trigger for the actual uh, relay. All right, so I've got half of the tap in place on this uh, reverse wire over here. So the second half of the tap will be um, going to the um, relay on pin 85. And we're gonna crimp it down on that wire, but we haven't set that up yet. So I wanna show you guys real quick, I made this really rudimentary drawing. You can appreciate my kindergarten handwriting. Um, but essentially, pin 85 will go to the reverse wire, um, which we've already kind of started setting up. The pin 87 will go to the camera positive wire, and then both grounds, the ground for the gr for the relay and the ground for the um, 
reverse camera will both go to the negative battery terminal um, or you know the ground wire from the wiring loom of the uh, reverse light however we probably don't need to do that uh, we can see if we want to on that at that point but uh, anyways then the uh, positive like I was kind of talking about earlier uh, pin 30 will go to the 7.5 amp fuse on this inline uh, fuse holder over here we can put that to the battery directly I'm trying to use one of these uh, these ring terminals over here and so we can kind of have a clear install um, and uh, yeah that should basically be it so I'm gonna kind of get the wiring down right now and I can show you guys how it look looks after we're done and make sure everything works all right so here's what I got so far it looks kind of messy but trust me it all works out just fine so got all the wires hooked up as I stated before following this diagram right here um, I got the fuse working and all that um, so I got the two tabs as you can see um, this is pretty much as good as you can get it uh, pretty clean I think in my opinion my wiring is not the best in the world but it's it's working that's all that matters so um, I kind of had this resting on top of the terminal to make sure it worked and it worked just fine I'm gonna bolt that down um, in the end um, however I did notice that um, the screen when the engine was on was it was working just fine instead of before we just shut off um, but there were still some wavy lines as I kind of expected um, a little bit of noise it's called on the So far, so good. Let's start it up. And look at that, a nice clean signal. Uh, no need for a noise reducer. That line is pretty clean, as you can see. Tiny bit of waviness, but I can barely tell, honestly. I don't even really need this camera. I just had it connected up for my automatic transmission and uh, kind of thought I might as well make it work as it's there, anyways. But um, yeah, we'll be you guys out. I know there's some of you who are uh, having some problems with this camera um, and setting it up. Um, especially the manual transmission, it's not a quite as straightforward as if you have the auto, because the auto we just connected up here as one wire. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this video, and um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll, I'll put a picture of that uh, diagram at the end here if you want to see it. Nothing fancy, it just kind of gives you kind of a brief breakdown of what's going on and where. Um, but that's it. Peace out.